All right, guys, so today we're taking a quick look at the HGLRC Zeus 5 on one flight controller. So this one here is 1 to 2 S only. It's a whoop style flight controller. And pretty, I don't know, it's pretty uh, basic. There's nothing really all that unusual about this one. Uh, 5 amp ESC, so obviously for whoops and low power toothpicks. Uh, has Beta Flight OSD. This one is an F411 with two UARTs. And the thing that makes this sort of stand out is this little Wi-Fi radio here and this little Wi-Fi chip. Uh, obviously, it has micro USB on here uh, to connect to it. But if you're in a, if you put this into a build that is um, a little bit hard to get to the USB port, you know, some builds can be like that. Having this Wi-Fi radio there is useful, so you can use a speed me up to connect directly to the board and make your configuration changes, pitch changes, whatever you need to do. So hopefully we'll see more of these, and I, I want to see this in a in a board with a uh, like an F7 with more UARTs. That would be more useful than something as limited as this one. But I think this is the first time we've seen something like this. Um, in terms of what you get here, obviously you get the board, you get an XT30 with some wire. You do get a capacitor, 35 volt, 220 microfarad. I did not connect that. Uh, get your mounting grommets and plugs. If you want to use the plugs for whoop style motors, you can so solder them right there. You can see the holes right there on the edges. Um, probably not going to use it because you can just solder the wires directly to the side. And then you have this um, four pin connector here that you can solder to yeah, right here. These through holes right there. And so that's going to be for like your crossfire style receiver if you want to directly solder the um, receiver to the board and make a nice low profile you can do that through these here obviously it comes with the manual and here's your specs you know 14 4.2 grams uh, it's got a 5 volt 1 amp voltage regulator BLLES firmware 5 amps only and your typical wiring diagram so uh, obviously LEDs all that stuff here you can Check this out. There's um, uh, probably a download link to this on the website, but I want to get right to um, how the Wi-Fi works. It does not power up over the USB port. Um, it is on UART 1. So this board is kind of specially configured from the factory. So if you reflash this with, I think, just uh, the F411 target, um, they will wipe out the settings. You'll have to go back to the product page and get that. Uh, basically, there's some special settings that enable the Wi-Fi radio. So if you reflash this um, and do a complete wipe, you're going to have to put those settings back in there to re-enable the Wi-Fi radio because it's on UART 1. And then they also made some special settings to enable soft serial for the, if you have an analog video transmitter, if you want to use smart audio or IRC tramp, that's on a, that's on a soft serial. So uh, again, you have to look at the diagram, refer to that to where to solder up the wires because not every pad is labeled you know, it looks like a lot of them are but not everything is labeled um, but mainly the wi-fi radio is on a uart and it does not come on unless you actually power it up off of a battery if you power it off of usb the wi-fi radio is um, not broadcasting it's not actually enabled so if you're wondering why when you plug into usb why you're not getting any Wi-Fi signals because it only works off of the battery. So be aware of that. Makes sense. You know, you're probably out in the field. I mean, if you're able to plug in via USB, you can just, you know, use your just direct connection instead of Wi-Fi. So it makes sense that you would do that. Also, when you, uh, the re I think the reason that we have a step this way is if you, you have this powered on and you arm the quad, you don't want your Wi-Fi radio on at the same time. It's going to mess with your video or your control link. So what they do is they, when you, when the, the craft arms or when you do, when you do arming in beta flight, it actually disables the radio, turns that off and powers it down. So, uh, which makes sense. You don't want that. So, um, you know, I think that's why they have it set up this way so that when you do arm, the, the radio will power off when you're flying. Let's go ahead and uh, power this up and then we'll go to our phone. Okay. So just go into the SpeedyB app and then we hit the Wi-Fi signal and go to connect and it's going to be like HGLRC Airme something so hit that and then depending on your phone it's probably going to go through this like internet check it's going to 
give you this message here. You have to make sure you hit the keep Wi-Fi connection, otherwise your phone may disconnect. And hit the back button and it'll detect that it's connected to the uh, Wi-Fi radio. And you'll see that we're now connected to the board. You can move it around. See that the gyro is working. And let's look at basically uh, if you've seen previous videos on my channel on the SpeedyB app, it's it's basically the same. There's nothing different here about this one because it's you know it's working the same way and looks pretty much like regular beta flight. And you can see here on UART1 MSP is enabled, that's the Wi-Fi radio. And then here on serial, soft serial one, this is the uh, video transmitter, smart audio, or IRC tramp. So they put that on um, on a soft serial. And then UR2 here has serial RX enabled. That's probably it's going to be for your receivers. So you're going to put your receivers on UR2. But pretty much everything else is the same. Nothing really all the different here. Shows you the battery voltage here, um, all of your settings as you would normally find here in the configuration page. You can go in here. Nothing is any different. So you have a Wi-Fi radio there for you, for you to connect to and you can make all your setup changes and um, pitch changes. Uh, that's the, kind of the big thing uh, via the SpeedyB app. And you can do that uh, just connecting via your phone and not have to use the USB port. So it's kind of why I think, um, I think this is going to be a trend. I'm hoping that they'll put this into their 25 amp board and others that are coming out. Um, yeah, It's good to see more options other than just plain USB because I typically like to connect via some sort of a Bluetooth radio or something like that uh, in my phone because it makes it make, ch makes making changes in the field a lot more simple and easy. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can check, I mean, check out the specs and everything and the wiring diagrams up on the product page over, over on HTLRC. But otherwise, uh, it's pretty basic. Uh, the board is, you know, going to be pretty so much a lot of other what boards out there with five amp BSCs, and it is going to limit your usage in terms of what kind of uh, you know motors you can put it on. Probably something like a 6500 kb, 7000 kb for 2s. You know, uh, if you want to do 1s setup, probably something like 11,500, 12,000, uh, 12,000 kb, like 1103 or 1202, 1203 motor, something like that. Maximum three inch prop or smaller. So obviously smaller, you know, we have less 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 amp drive. You know, obviously you want to build your craft, whether it's a toothpick or a whoop, as light as possible. So if you're targeting a three inch prop, you probably want to keep your overall build under 50 grams total, um, and not including the battery. And then you don't want to use a giant battery, of course, something like a 450 or 550 US battery somewhere in there, or if you're using just 1S, then maybe you can go up to like a 650 1S or 700 1S, something like that. Obviously you want to keep the weight as low as possible. So if you're looking to put this into a build, those are the sort of the parameters. If you've seen my past videos, you know, you, you can get an idea of like what they'll kind of look like. If you look at the Happy Model Crux 3, if you look at the way, if you look at that video, you can check out the weight of that one. That's a 2S with a uh, 2S board, an all-in-one board. Uh, with some 1202.5 motors in that one and three inch props. That one seems to fly fine. I think it's a 6500 kV motor. Obviously, don't put this on 3S. You'll probably, I think you'll probably blow the 5 volt regulator on that one for sure. Um, yeah, that's why it's rated 1 to 2S only. Anyway, uh, just gonna do it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.